The old African wizard had a younger brother who was no worse than him in witchcraft. One could say even better than him in cruelty and cunning. The two brothers are not always together even in the same city. Usually one is at the sunrise and the other is at the sunset. But every year through divination they still know each other and number 39. S. News and how they are doing. Do we need to help each other? Shortly after the wizard was tragically defeated for disturbing Aladdin and number 39. S. Happiness. His brother was not in Africa but in a faraway country. After a year of not being heard from, he wanted to know where he was and how he was doing. Why and what are you doing? My brother always carried a fortune-telling box with him. He took it out, sanded it down, drew a picture, and made a horoscope to predict his numbers. He found out that he had been poisoned to death right in a house in China, at a location in the capital. Poisoned by a person of low origin who married the princess. Knowing that, if the wizard and number 39's brother had not died, he would ignore him and cry in mourning, but he could not bring him back to life. He immediately decided to take revenge and got on his horse to go to China. Through many plains, rivers, mountains, deserts and after an incredibly long and difficult journey, he finally arrived in China and entered the capital he had discovered in divination. Making sure he was not mistaken about both the capital and the kingdom, he found a place to stay. The next day he went out to town, ignoring all the pleasures of beautiful scenery, determined to carry out a sinister plan. He went to crowded places and paid attention to what people were saying. In a place where many games are held, while some people play, there are people sitting and chatting about the news that just happened, and family matters. He heard about the compassionate morality of a reclusive woman named Fatima and her miracles. He thought this woman might be of some use to his cause. He befriended one of them, asking to know more about that holy woman and what miracles she had. That person said, What? Have you never seen or heard of her? She was the admiration of the entire city, setting a good example for everyone about strict fasting. Except for Mondays and Fridays, she did not leave her place of grace. On the days she went out, she did extremely good things. No one had a headache that could not be cured by the hand she placed on their head. Wanting nothing more, he asked the holy woman and number 39's whereabouts. Even though he was pointed out, in order to understand better, he followed her actions on the first day she went out on the street and followed closely until evening when she returned to her hermitage. Knowing the location clearly, he returned to the same place, where people drink a cup of hot water and, if they want, can sleep overnight, especially on hot days in this area. People prefer to lie on a mat rather than a bed. Dot. The witch paid some money, lay there, and got up in the middle of the night and went straight to the hermitage of the holy woman, Fatima as the whole city called her. The door is not difficult to open because it only closes with a latch. He walked in, gently closed the door, and saw Fatima sleeping under the moonlight, on a sofa leaning against the wall. He approached her, pulled out the dagger and woke her up. Opening his eyes, poor Fatima was surprised to see a man about to stab him. Putting the knife into her chest, he said, if you scream or make any sound, I will kill you immediately. Please wake up and do as I tell you. Fatima was sleeping in his outer clothes, afraid to stand up and tremble. He said, Don and number 39. T be afraid, I just want to wear your clothes. Take them off and give them to me and you can wear my clothes. 
They swapped and after wearing Fatima and number 39's clothes, the old witch said, You paint my face like yours and the color must not fade. Seeing that she was still trembling and letting her feel secure in doing as he was told, he said, Don and number 39. T be afraid, I repeat, in the name of God, I will not kill you. Fatima took him into the room, lit a lamp, took some liquid from the bottle and rubbed it on his face with a brush, making his face the same color as her face. Then she put her hat and veil on his head, instructing him how to cover his face when going out into the street. Finally, after placing the rosary around his neck halfway down his body, she put the stick she often used in his hand and showed him the mirror. Look, you are so similar to me that you can and number 39. T do more than that. The old wizard saw that he had achieved what he wanted, but he did not keep his solemn promise to the kind Fatima. To avoid bleeding from the knife, he strangled her. When he saw that she was dead, he grabbed her leg and dragged her to the corner of her hermitage. The witch disguised herself as Fatima, a holy woman who stayed in seclusion for the rest of the night after committing a gruesome murder. The next morning, although it was not the day the holy woman went out, he still went, confident that people would not ask about it and even if they did, he would still have a way to answer. Because the first thing he came here for was to explore the castle and because he wanted to carry out his plan, he immediately went in that direction. When people saw that the woman was as holy as they thought, the disguised witch was surrounded by many people. Some people ask for prayers, others for kisses. Hand. Some were more reserved and just kissed the hem of her shirt. Some either had a headache or wanted to be taken care of, so they just knelt down in front of her to pray. He imitated the holy woman so well that people mistook him for her. After having to stop several times to satisfy the people who wanted Madame Fatima to place her hand on his head, he arrived at the square in front of Aladdin and number 39's castle. Here many people gathered around him. The stronger people pushed their way into the crowd to take seats, so the quarreling noise reached the living room with 24 windows, where Princess Badrul Baudor was there. The princess asked why there was such a noise and asked someone to go down and see and report to her. Without leaving the living room, one of the maids opened the curtains, looked down and returned to speak to her. The noise was caused by a crowd of people jostling around the holy woman so she could place her hands on her head for healing. The princess had long heard about the woman who did many good deeds but had never seen her. She was curious to meet and talk to her. A eunuch saw that the princess expressed interest and immediately told her to call her up if necessary. The princess ordered him to immediately send four eunuchs to lead what they thought was a holy woman to the castle. When the eunuchs left the castle, the crowd saw them walking toward the disguised wizard and gradually dispersed. Freed and seeing the eunuchs arrive, the sorcerer was happy that his trick had worked. A eunuch told him, Holy woman, the princess wants to see you, please follow us. The princess does me a great honor, the fake Fatima replied. I am ready to obey your orders. He immediately followed the eunuch towards the castle. The old wizard who hid his evil heart under the guise of sainthood was brought to the living room with twenty-four windows. Seeing the princess, he immediately began with a series of prayers for her health and prosperity, her wishes, and that all her wishes would come true. He unleashed all the false boasting and hypocrisy into the princess and number 39's mind under the guise of a godly person. 
He achieved results because the princess had a kind nature and thought everyone was as good as her, especially those who secluded themselves and served God. When the fake Fatima finished her long congratulations, the princess said, My kind mother, thank you for your prayers, I really believe in them and hope God will grant them. Mother came closer and sat next to me Fatima pretended to sit modestly and the princess said again, Kind mother, I ask you not to refuse. You stay here with me to maintain my health and let me study. Receive good examples from my mother about how to serve God. Dear princess, I beg you not to force me to do something I do not dare to accept because I have to miss prayers and devotional ceremonies. It and number 39, s not difficult at all. I had many empty rooms, so mom chose the most suitable room where she could perform ceremonies freely as her hermitage. The old wizard had no other purpose than to get into a Latin and number 39. S. Castle to easily carry out his plot, staying there under the princess and number 39. S. Protection was better than going back and forth from the castle to the hermitage. He did not let the princess beg her many times and immediately accepted. Princess, he said, although I wanted to give up worldly activities, a miserable woman like me would not dare to have the audacity to refuse the wishes and instructions of a princess with faith and integrity. So compassionate. Hearing that answer, the princess stood up and said, Mom and I went to see the empty rooms and choose for ourselves. He followed Princess Badrul Baudor, looked at all the rooms she led to, all of them were clean and well furnished, chose a room that seemed the worst, pretended that it was too good for him and he made his choice. Just to please the princess. The princess wanted to take him to the living room with 24 windows to have lunch together. When he had to die when eating, he still covered his face until that moment, afraid that the princess would know that he was not a holy woman like she thought. He begged for forgiveness, saying he only ate cake and a few fruits, please let him go. He eats in his room. The princess agreed and said, Good mother, you are as free as in a hidden place. I will send someone to bring the meal but remember that I will wait for you after finishing eating. The princess went to lunch. Fatima came to see her when the eunuch informed her that she had finished eating. The princess said, My kind mother, I am very happy to have a holy woman like you bless this castle. By the way, how do you like this castle? Before taking mom to see each room, please tell me first what you think about this living room. Hearing the question, fake Fatima who until then had only kept his head down and didn't and hash 39. T even look around to play the trick, looked up at the living room and said, Princess, this living room is truly very beautiful. However, in my opinion, there is nothing more beautiful in the world. I feel like there is still something missing. What is that, kind mother? Please tell me. I still think and I and number 39. They heard that too. There and number 39. S nothing missing here. If something is missing. I and number 39. LL make more of it. Princess, the fake Fatima said again very cautiously, please forgive my impulsive words. In my opinion, it is important that if high above, in the middle of the dome, hangs an eagle egg. Then nothing in the world can compare. The princess and number 39. S. Castle will be a wonder in the universe. Good mother, what kind of bird is an eagle and where can one find an egg? Princess, there is a huge magical bird on the highest mountain in the Caucasus region. The architect of this castle can find an egg for the princess. After thanking the fake Fatima, 
Princess Baudrill Baudour discussed other things, but she did not forget the eagle egg, planning to tell Aladdin when he returned from hunting. He had been hunting for six days and the wizard knew that and wanted to take advantage of the time he was away. That same evening he returned while the fake Fatima asked the princess for permission to retreat to his room. Aladdin immediately went up to the princess and number 39's room, entered, greeted and hugged and kissed the princess, but it seemed like she was still a bit cold. Princess, he said, I see you are not happy as usual. While I was away, did something make you sad and dissatisfied? Don and number 39. T. Hide it from me. There and number 39. S. Nothing I won and number 39. T. Do in my power to relieve your sadness. It and number 39. S. Just a small thing the princess replied I and number 39. Am not worried about it. So I don and number 39. T. Think I showed it on my face for you to notice. But on the contrary, because he saw that he was thinking something, I did not hide the reason, although it was very insignificant. I still think that our castle is the most beautiful and perfect in the world. However, I suddenly thought that after carefully observing the living room and number 39, S24 windows, do you think that there is nothing more wonderful than having an eagle egg hanging in the middle of the dome roof? Princess, as long as you see that one eagle egg is missing hanging there, I will quickly make more. There is nothing I wouldn't and hash 39. T do out of love for her. At that moment, Aladdin went up to the living room with 24 windows, took out the lamp that he had always carried with him since the danger of lack of care, and rubbed it vigorously. Genie appeared, Aladdin said. Genie, this dome is missing an eagle egg hanging in the middle. I pray, in the name of the lamp, God how to add to it. Before Aladdin could finish his sentence, the genie let out a loud and terrifying scream that made the room vibrate and Aladdin staggered and almost fell over. How? Poor thing! The genie shouted, making even the steadiest person tremble. Is it not enough that I and my friends have done everything for you? But are you also extremely ungrateful, asking me to bring my master and hang him in the middle of this dome? That insult deserves to burn everything to ashes, his wife and the castle. The lucky person was not the one who directly thought of that request. You need to know the instigator, the African witch and number 39. S. Sister, your enemy, is in the castle in the guise of Fatima, the holy woman he killed. He suggested to his wife the dangerous request he had just made. His intention is to kill him. You must pay careful attention after saying that the genie disappeared. Aladdin lost no time. He had heard about the holy woman and how she cured headaches as rumored. He went down to the princess and number 39's room, said nothing about what had happened, sat down and complained that he had a headache, and raised his hand to massage his forehead. The princess sent for the holy woman, and while she waited she told her husband about her presence in the castle, and that she had given her a room. Fake Fatima entered the room, Aladdin said. My kind mother, you are near. I am very happy to meet my mother and happy to have her stay here. I just had a severe headache. I asked her for prayers and hoped she would not refuse to please help me cure that disease. Having finished speaking, he stood up, his head bowed in grimacing. Fake Fatima approached the side but put his hand on the tip of the dagger he carried under his shirt. Aladdin noticed, grabbed his hand before he pulled it out and stabbed him in the heart with his knife, leaving his body on the floor. Dear guy, what are you doing? 
The princess cried out in surprise, You killed the holy woman. No, my merit, Aladdin replied without emotion. I did not kill Fatima, but an inhuman man who would harm me if I was not warned. This evil man, he added as he lifted his veil. His face, he strangled the Fatima that she mourned and disguised himself as her to kill me. I tell you so you know better, he is the brother of the witch who kidnapped you. Aladdin told someone he knew those details and sent someone to carry the corpse away. Thus, Aladdin escaped from the two wizard brothers who harmed him. A few years later the king passed away due to old age. Because she had no son, as the legitimate heir, Princess Badrul Baudor succeeded her father to rule, sharing supreme power with Aladdin. The couple ruled the country for many years, leaving behind a large and strong family of children. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.